What's Happening Delco? I'm Rich Shane and welcome to the What's Happening Delco podcast. Today I'm joined by Gatto, the executive chef, and Hannah, the general manager of Ozzy, refreshingly global. Guys, welcome to the podcast. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Ozzy, tell us about Ozzy. What do you guys do? We offer many of dishes, Asian, Asian fare, multicultural cuisine, um, a modern chic space that our guests can dine in. Talk about that modern chic space. And what I see is this is like really cool. There's there's so many different variations to the space we're in. What was the vision or what's the vision that you want when, when, you're, when your guests come? What can they expect when they dine at Ozzy? As far as the environment, um, we offer probably about 200 seats, right? 200, 250 seats. We're opening up a, um, a, or opening our new deck starting May with a pergola. It's a, a great environment, nice bright area. Now with the deck, so that'll be open obviously for really nice weather, right? Yes. Are you going to have a special menu up there, special cocktails? Will there any, be anything different from your normal menu? So we have a lot of good surprises for this summer. We are very excited for um, open the deck. And um, yeah, definitely we want to do a couple of specials, uh, you know, every weekend to try to like bring more business for us. And um, we are really excited too because uh, Diner on the Stars coming soon. And uh, it's something good for, for Delco and for media too. So with Dining Under the Stars, now you offer two choices. One, actually really three, one outside dining, inside dining for those that want to and then up on the deck so you'll have three choices for anybody that wants to dine at ozzy they can they can have their choice as long as they're available right yes that's right and even when it's raining it's a the deck it's a pergola so right. when it's raining we can have the roof covering you that's can still awesome sit outside that's tremendous now obviously god we were talking have you been here since ozzy opened no, I came here in 2004, uh, 2013, and I think Asi's open for already like 14 years, and uh, I've been part you of... You seem like you've been here forever from when we talked, right? Yes, like, I'm part <laughs> of the company like 11 years, and I'm really happy, and uh, learning many, many things from many different chefs, and um, now is my opportunity to show like uh, a little bit why I'm learning from these people. Now, for you as the executive chef, what is your personality on the menu? What are some of the dishes or what are some of your influences that diners can enjoy? Well, I'm a um, Latino and um, I try to put like, uh, make a, like a mix, like la- Latin fusion, uh, Latin Asian fusion. And uh, we have a couple of dishes like uh, uh, Sierra Haliba is like, it's made by Latin Asian inspiration, like I say. And... Now, just for clarification, was that seared halibut? Yes. Good. All yeah. right. I got it. I could hear right through my uh, headphones. That was good. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who influenced you? Who were some of your influences that inspired you to become a chef? Uh, well, my my teacher was uh, equity chef uh, Kat Mitsui. Um, and another chef is uh, Min Kuli. He's from Korea. So I learned a lot from these two people. So they showed me so many teams and... Um, well, when I when I get the opportunity to jump in and be the equity chef in this place, I was really happy and exciting. I am happy right now, and um, you know I want to keep learning more, 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 and then like show to the people how Ozzy, how great Ozzy is. Hannah, what sets Ozzy apart? We are we have a full sushi menu, um, sorted sushi rolls, sashimi, nigiri. Our beverage program is really excellent as well. It's created by Juan. He's now the director of beverages. Um, with the company and it's a really progressive drink menu a lot of different um, sakis Asian beers champagne it really runs the gambit I mean if you want a glass of wine share a glass of wine with friends as you said sake where can you find that in the area versus more of what people expect to find in the PLCB store yeah. you know you can expect to find certain brands at the PLCB store but the ones that you're finding or what you're bringing in may be a little more eclectic and different for your customers to experience, right? Definitely, yep. Now, you're in Delco. So, Hannah, are you from Delco? Where did you grow up? I grew up from Delco. So what do you love about Delco? I mean, just like media, it feels like everyone's hometown. Very diverse, great people, 
Yeah, I, I grew up in Wallingford, so went to Cardinal O'Hara High School. <laughs> um, yeah, Shout out I to Cardinal it. O'Hara, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> for, for the both of you, I mean, Gato, we talked a little bit. Hannah, I mean, right now, we're still working through the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So how does that impact your jobs for what you're doing still right now? How are you impacted by the pandemic and what and or how are you working through that? Uh, it was definitely tough in the beginning, for sure. Um, we definitely carried on through. We stayed open. A lot of takeout. A lot of takeout. A lot of takeout. <laughs> um, yeah. And we're just trying to make sure our guests feel comfortable when they come in. Um, yeah. And yeah, when the pandemic started, we're taking very serious everything from everything from the health department and um, all the safety protocols. All the sep- yeah, all the safety pro- protocol and and yeah, it was really really hard that the 2020 2021 because we was a lot like like I said like a short short people mm-hmm. and we survive like we make it to now. <laughs> it kind of gives you that you can you can overcome anything, right? You can and and to me, the Delco spirit is you can do anything. Mm-hmm. You know, you can overcome, you can accomplish anything. And I think that stands out, especially, look, you're running a full service restaurant and you talk about, you've also got your bar program, mm-hmm. but you got this upstairs area where you can do private events. So talk about some of the private events that you do here. Oh, we do everything from graduations, um, bridal showers, baby showers, just family wanting to get together, especially after COVID, I think it, our requests for parties have gone way up. Everyone's ready to get out <laughs> and, then we and have, see people they haven't seen in a long time. And we have so many choices too for the people. We have uh, buffet auctions, we have uh, family style auctions, and uh, we have uh, many like uh, variety of our, our food so we can yeah. bring more business to our, our, our place. Media. I think anyone can find something that they like on our menu. For the both of you, what gets you out of bed to come to work every day? What motivates you? Do a great service, uh, make people happy, you know, because people, you can make people, uh, make people happy when they expecting something like you're making with your heart. And I feel like uh, as it is about like everything we do here is like with our like, passion, with our heart, and uh, we want to make the customer comfortable here. And then that is the motivation we have every day to do a great service for, for, for our customers. I really sense your passion in your heart. I, you, you, like, you haven't stopped smiling <laughs> since I met you. I mean, that's a joy and that's infectious to be around. And I think, you know, You're you amazing. two working together with your staff, I would say, you know, that inspires and motivates both of you, right? Mm-hmm. For Hannah, for you, the alarm clock goes off. Uh-huh. What gets you out of bed? What motivates you to come to work here at Aze? My team. Yeah, it's a great team Team here at Aze. We have so many regulars that come in just to see a lot of the team. Like all, all the uh, the waiters and the food runners, the bussers, our bartenders. Our bartenders are great. So everyone's great here. And I think a lot of our customers come back for that. Not just the food and the environment. I really think that they come back to see happy you know, happy people working and yeah. Is there anything we haven't talked about on the podcast yet that you want to add or make sure that we talk about about Ozzy? I think just we're excited to see everyone for Dining Under the Stars. And when does that start? May. May. First week of May. May. That would be May 4th. Um, yes. May 4th. Yeah, so the May the 4th Wednesday. be with me. Was it May the 4th be with you? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> and our deck will be open then too. Yeah. Okay. That is super. I now. I my birthday. <laughs> 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 Please join us. So the question I have is, if you haven't been to media or you're not familiar with this restaurant, how do people find you? Well, they can find us on AussieRestaurant.com. And, Aussie uh, dash. dash. Aussie Dash Restaurant. Oh, that's important. Uh, that, don't com. forget that dash. Aussie Dash <laughs> Restaurant.com. <laughs> and um, they can, they can uh, find us on uh, social media too, Facebook, uh, Instagram. and That's some, all on the website. Right. Yeah. Now, do you, by the way, I want to ask, do you require or do you allow for reservations? And is there a minimum? So talk about that because people may say, oh, I want to come here and I'm just going to show up on a Friday night. And there may be a line out the door, right? Oh, yeah. Friday, our happy hour is very, it's, popular, it's busy. Really popular. Friday happy hour. You get all the people like in, in the courthouse coming in. Um, 
Yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend reservations on the weekends. Now, do sure. people call you directly? Can they go on Open Table? How do they How do both. they do reservations? We'll, we'll welcome both. Okay. Phone call, or um, we do have an online portal where you can make a reservation. Fabulous. Yeah. I am so grateful that you guys spent some time talking to what's happening Delco today. You are part of the neighborhood. You're part of the fabric, and this is what makes Delco exciting. So, thanks for joining us today. Thank, thank you for thank having you us. us. Thank, thank you very, very much. Us.